To get started, I'm going to delete the heart that's on my Sketchpad canvas and choose a symbol from the symbol library to the right of the canvas. I've chosen a flower. Now I'm going to change the color of the flower using the color swatches. I'm going to make it blue. You can duplicate a symbol as many times as you would like using our copy function. I'm going to copy my flower a few times and move it around the canvas to create a more dynamic pattern. We have hundreds of symbols for our users to choose from over at Image Chef. The ones directly to the right of the Sketchpad canvas are ones we've provided for them. But we also have an awesome symbol maker tool where our users can draw out and save a symbol for other users to access and integrate into their Sketchpad creations. Now I'm going to search for a symbol in our the symbol library. I'll simply click search and enter a keyword search that best describes what I've been looking for. I'm searching for a star. In addition to being able to move your symbols around the screen, you can also arrange them from front to back using the send to front, send to back tool. Each symbol has attributes that are specific to that symbol. For instance, the star has a predefined black and white field. However, there's a third color you can change. Look through our massive symbol library to see all the unique things our users have come up with over the years. Now I'm going to search through our stickers. Stickers are simply photo objects where the background has been masked out so they can be integrated into your creation along with your other symbols. I have chosen a popsicle. 